Hey Michael, this is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Hey, just doing a quick virtual tour on our 2016 Subaru Forester, the 2.5 IL sitting here in front of me. Absolutely awesome car, can't wait to take you through all the details. Um, like I said, a bit of an idea of this whole video, just to take you through all the service history, uh, any little blemishes, features, all that kind of thing. Uh, give you really good sus through the whole car. Um, I do understand you're obviously down south, so mate, we're, we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns, so we're lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards here. I'm currently standing at 235 Mulgrave Road. Uh, you can see we're, we are literally absolutely jam-packed at the moment. And of course, we do have another location up at uh, 77 Mulgrave Road as well. And you can even see our Toyota Lexus showrooms up the hill, service departments down the road. So we are literally busting at the seams. But mate, it means we get some absolutely awesome cars just like this one here. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll start from the very, very front here. Make my way around, be as picky as I possibly can. Looking very clean across the actual bonnet uh, itself. Uh, looks like just a little, that's just a little bit of dust. Just from obviously being on the yard. Again, little tiny bits of dust. That's just a little bit of dirt. And the only one I can really find is about a sort of little tiny sort of scuff just there. A little bit of um, touch up paint would potentially clean that up, but it is very, very minor. I'm trying to just be as picky as we can for you though. And one very faint little sort of hairline mark just there. But mate, other than that, incredibly clean across the actual bonnet there as well. Uh, no chips or cracks or anything across the windscreen there too. And of course, mate, that 24990 is the drive away. I did just notice one tiny little chip just there, but that has, you can see the little ring around it, so that has been filled in as well. So seeing as that's not in the actual driver's uh, point of view as well, that's no dramas at all. So very tightly across the actual wheel guard here. I did kick these wheels out as well, so you can see the treads on there too. So absolutely stacks of tread left in there as well. And even through the inside there, the wheel arches, so the suspension and whatnot, you can see yourself just how well it's been looked after. Uh, even these wheels too, see obviously got the yellow Subaru genuine uh, wheels. Looking very clean, can't really see any sort of gutter rash on there. Oh yeah, just a little tiny bit just down there. Not too bad though. And uh, just across the front of that rear uh, front bar now too. Looking pretty clean across here. Just a tiny little sort of stone chip just there. It's a little bit hard to see in the sun. And just a little sort of blemish just there but other than that pretty tidy through here through this side and again just down that driver's side wheel now as well this one's looking very clean and absolutely stacks of tread left in there too so we'll keep cruising around down to the passenger side I just want to show you down the body lines of the whole car there too Right up over the roof here as well. Obviously got the indicators on the mirrors here too. Looking very clean down this side. Again, that's just all a little bit of dust. Tiny little sort of fingernail marks on the inside there, just from people's sort of rings and things like that catching on the inside there. A little bit tight for space here, so we're doing our best. Right, just through the inside of those door cards. Electric windows the whole way around, of course. That injury way. Uh, we got the genuine Subaru floor mats here too, so the proper fitted ones. So no cracks or anything like that across the dash. Very clean through there. A couple of tiny sort of little, very faint marks in the roof. We could always talk about details and see if we could, can get those cleaned out. Just very sort of faint ones, just on that lighter in roof across the back there. Not too bad though. So all your manuals, books, everything's all inside here. I've got your service history here as well. So uh, judging from the service books, I would guess this to be a two-owner um, private-owned vehicle. So originally serviced most of its life down in um, Hobart, and then looks like it was traded, sold potentially, um, and brought up here to Cairns and serviced up here. So uh, and then obviously we've traded it in as well. So Guys, looks like uh, 13,000 was the original service, 2016. Uh, obviously, like I said, down in Camdale, so uh, Tasmania. 25,000, 2017. 42,000, 2017. Uh, they combined, obviously, to match everything up. So the 50,000 and the 66,000, uh, 2018. 2019, they did the 76. All through the same place, Jackson uh, Subaru. Uh, 2019, 91,000. 
and obviously Foggy Automotive 2020, 98, my car for 2021 at 101. Grip Tire and Auto, so this is here in Cairns, so Warri, that's us. So 2022, 111,000 Ks. Uh, this year again, September at 116, again here in Warri. So just been serviced, not due again uh, until about 121,000. So still a bit of life left on those, which is awesome. But excellent service history, exactly what you want to see. Made it. Just down to the uh, passenger rear door, we've got a little tiny bit of a sort of scuff just there. A couple of sort of stone chips, I guess it is. And again, just those sort of fingernail marks through the inside there. Uh, that is only privacy glass too, it's not actually window tint. So you will still get burnt through that, so we can actually apply the window tint here in-house. We've got the child locks on these doors there too. But very clean through the actual door cut itself. Okay, and we've got the mat through the back here too, which is fantastic. We've got the argument separator here in the middle with the cup holders in there too, the adjustable ones as well, so good for cans, bottles, whatever the name the case is. Uh, we've got a 60-40 split with these guys, so that little lever there, that's going to drop that one down. We've got a little child angle point there. That's that 60% over that side, so that whole thing will come down, and we've got two child angle points behind those as well. Um, we do have that retractable up to the ceiling for that middle one, so that way you can pop that out if you want to lay these flat, put anything bigger through here, and you're not going to have that seatbelt interfering uh, with what you need to put through the back. So really clever design, but not too bad through the back there, obviously through the inside of that boot. Looks like a little bit of wear just down there, but pretty common for those. And pretty good through the inside, the rest of the inside here too. I'll leave that down because I want to show you from the back just how much storage you get. Pretty clean across the roof there too. And finally just the uh, passenger rear wheel as well. Looking very clean. A little bit of dirt but that's just come straight off. And again absolutely stacks of trade in there too. Pretty clean across the back here. Little bits of luggage marks across the rear. There and there. Just those common ones. That for you. So we've got the tow ball there too. So a little bit of use from the tow ball. Not too bad though. We've got seven pin flat plug there as well. Trying to get a little bit of a look underneath there too. Should be able to see. A bit better view of underneath as well. Looking very tidy. Um, underneath here we pull this little tab up, so we've got the spare wheel in there too. So full size spare, jack and tools all around the outside there as well. Uh, we've got the little tight end points that are hidden through the car, so one here that just pops out. One over there as well, nice little hook here to put your um, like groceries, stuff like that on too. And we've got this little button there too, so that's actually going to drop those suits down. So save you're trying to climb all over the car if you've got kids and you're trying to balance everything at the same time. And like I said, we've got that one and two child anchor points there too. So you pull that lever and that drops down like so. So super handy. Uh, the same thing over this side, that lever will do the exact same thing, except we've got an accessory plug there too. So good for fridges, all that kind of thing, lights, any of that sort of stuff. But massive amount of boot space once those are down, absolutely huge through there. Close this one up for you, keep cruising around. Looks like a little bit of chipping just there on the inside of that. Otherwise down the driver's side here looking pretty good. Feels obviously this side here too. And just show you that final alloy now this time. A little bit, tiny bit of chip just there, but not too bad at all. And again, a little hairline mark just there. But I'm trying to be just super picky here for you. A little bit of a scratch on the inside there. I'd say they're trying to put something into the back, but just caught the uh, there instead. Finally, just that driver's side door now too. That's just a little bit of dirt. Just a couple of little sort of very faint sort of lines around that sort of handle. But not too bad at all through there. Uh, before we jump inside, I just want to quickly show you. So we do have two keys with this one. So the genuine uh, Subaru factory keys with the central locking on both of those and the boot release there too. So that one works, which is perfect. And so does that one, which is even better. So we're going to jump inside. Oop. Helps if we unlock it. Jump inside, get some aircon going in just a second because it is stinking hot at the moment. So we can start this one up. 
So central lock and window locks, all the electric uh, options for the windows here to, uh, and the uh, mirror adjustments just there for you too. Height adjustments here as well, so short people like me, you can sit there and crank that seat right up and you've got the back rest adjustment there. And of course the lever underneath to uh, slide that back and forth. That fuel release is just uh, down here as well. And of course same with the uh, bonnet release just under there too. So I'll pop that because I do want to show you under there in just a sec. Gonna jump in, just turn this radio down. Whew, it is hot. Now it may look like those lights are flashing, don't stress about that, that's just the camera, there you go. So I'll try and hold that still so you can actually see it. Uh, 118,279 kilometers as it sits right now. So no engine lights, no dash lights, nothing like that of course. And like I said, not to have gained until about 121,000 up the top there too. So heaps of heaps of features in these guys. I absolutely love the Subarus because they just slam so many um, features and, and sort of benefits inside these guys. So uh, up on the steering wheel itself, Starting from behind here, we've got a little paddle shift, so that little negative sign there and the positive sign on this one, so you can go up and down the gears with those. Uh, your little wipers are up on the left-hand side there, and we do have you know, our headlights and all up on the right. So Parker's headlights, high beams, uh, foggies are all like normal, so that's pretty easy. Uh, the actual steering wheel itself, so you've got a couple of little different options here. So you've got your S-Drive, we have the I-Drive as well, so as we flip between those. So depending on how you like driving, so basically that's your sports mode, it's going to give you a more responsive throttle, things like that. Uh, gives you a little idea of the mapping for the, the, the accelerator, so you can see it's obviously much sharper off the get-go. Otherwise that one's just a nice gentle curve. So depending on how you like driving, just gives you those better options. Um, cruise controls all over this side here for you. Uh, we've got all your radio options, everything over that side there too. Answering phone calls, jumping between AM, FM, Bluetooth, all that sort of stuff from the steering wheel as well. And then finally we've got a little uh, options down there too. So these ones here are controlled, you push these up. And you can go between a digital speedo, a couple of different settings, everything as well, and then back, finally back to there as well. So really sort of personalized, uh, personalizable, if that's a word. Uh, down here we've got all your aircon controls, so fan speed in the middle, temperature either side, so you've got dual climate control so I can sit here and change mine. You'll see it adjusting up the top there, and then of course the passenger can sit there and adjust theirs completely independently as well. I'm not sure if you can see that, we'll try and put the camera in there so you can see as well. It's not actually flashing. Totally independent, and then the right hand side there too. Uh, while I've got the camera in there, you've got this little button up here as well, so this enter button. So we have a couple different menus up on the right hand side there too. So you've got, at the moment you've got the clock, so we can jump between. So you've got to push and hold that to actually go through the settings and personalization stuff. But as we go through, so we've got a little um, breakdown of uh, or how basically what you like as a driver. So as I push in the accelerator. It gives you a percentage of how much throttle you're actually giving to the car. So it gives you a little sort of bit mindful of the car and things like that. And as we go through, we've got a little engine breakdown there too. So that's actually got a diagram of the wheels. You can't really see it in the video, I don't think. But as we turn those those wheels, that diagram is actually going to show you where those uh, the direction of the wheels are, are facing. We've got average fuels, all sorts of stuff through there. Absolutely awesome little setup. Um, finally, we've got the massive big screen down here. We've got a little reverse camera tucked in the back. As soon as you check that in reverse, that's going to come up as well. You can physically see that tow bar too, so you never should actually back into anything, but it makes life an absolute dream when backing up the trailers and stuff like that. Otherwise, back into the park. Massive big touch screen here, huge big button so that while you're driving, you can't accidentally push uh, buttons that you don't want to. So that home button's going to bring us to here every time. Pretty sure that's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, been in 2016, that they'll be right on the money when they come in. Uh, otherwise, we can jump straight into the audio settings. So again, Bluetooth, everything like that. A little source button at the top there lets you jump between AM, FM, and the Bluetooth itself. So really nice and easy, super um, easy to control and jump between all the different settings and everything like that. And of course, a little CD player up there too, um, which looks like no one's left your CD, which is a bit selfish, but that's all right. Um, as we come down, we've got the accessory plug in there, 12 volt one. Uh, you've got your little X mode, so for, uh, for off-road stuff, you've got a couple of different settings that you can play with there as well. Uh, we've got auto stop start too, so you can turn that uh, on and off if you don't like it. But basically, when you come to the lights, and the uh, the car will actually switch off, uh, saving you a little bit of fuel. The second you release that brake pressure, it'll actually turn back on and um, and continue on for you. If you don't like it, you can turn it off. Um, I tend to turn it off up here because it does tend to turn the aircon off while you're driving as well. Uh, real handbrake there, cup holders in the middle that are adjustable. Uh, little coin trays through the middle, accessory plugs, USBs for days, and an absolutely beautiful setup through there. Otherwise, as we come up, we've got the little visors at the top there. We've got the little kick out bit there as well, which is just fantastic. And all the mirrors activated ones there too. Sunny holder, and exactly the same over the driver's side too, which is just fantastic. Uh, drop down handles the whole way around, including the driver's side. You've got adjustable seat belts on the front two um, seats as well. 
airbags that go right across the front, uh, the curtains, airbags, sorry. Uh, airbags in the seats, airbags in the dash, airbags in the steering wheel, absolutely everywhere. So just an absolutely unreal car. Cannot recommend these things enough. Um, but before we finish up, I do just want to give you a quick look under that bonnet. So all on struts as well, makes life super nice and easy, but you can see yourself just how clean it is through there. We've got the battery up on that side, all your fluids down in one corner, makes it nice and easy. And then of course, just that final line, we've got the engine all there, up on the back there too. Very tidy all through there. And very well maintained. So Michael, thanks again for your inquiry. I uh, cannot wait to hear your feedback soon before this thing sells. Thanks mate.